guys, it's Simmer Sweets here, and I'm excited because I got the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. It is my early Christmas present from my amazing, wonderful, awesome husband. I love him very much. Shout out to you. Um, anyways, I'm getting into it. I will have you guys know I have watched no videos on this, not even the pre-release videos that people have posted on YouTube before the game actually came out for everybody. I haven't even watched those videos. I didn't watch the demonstrations. I watched some trailers. So I don't know much about this at all. And I did that on purpose because I wanted a new, fresh experience. I wanted to experience everything myself for the first time. So bear with me when I'm figuring it all out. Um, anyway, let's try it. I mean, if you can hear, the music has changed. The music is different. So I love it. I love the new look. It's the, the new music. I'm going to create a new family. And you guys, this is going to be different than my other LPs. I'm going to do a whole storyline. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss these episodes. I promise you. Okay, anyways, welcome to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Create cats and dogs. Use the powerful creative pet tool to express your creativity as you customize your Sims' perfect cats, dogs, puppies, and kittens. Aww. Choose from a variety of breeds, give them distinct personalities, and directly manipulate their features. Bond with your pets. Experience the companionship and fun that furry friends bring to your Sims' lives. Cats and dogs have minds of their own and form special relationships with Sims based on their daily interactions. Become a vet and run a clinic. Build a veterinarian clinic, hire a dedicated staff, and further your career as the town's most promising animal doctor. You're in control of daily operations from the services offered to what you charge. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay, explore Brindleton Bay. Discover the coastal shores of Brindleton Bay, a new world where your Sims and their pets can live and enjoy outdoor activities. Play fetch near the harbor docks, take a walk to the lighthouse, or visit a park to set up an obstacle course. Ooh, that to be fun. All right, guys, let's get into creating. Um, let's, let's start a new game. This is going to be fun. I can't wait. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna go right into uh, creating a pet right now. We'll come back to her, but I really wanna do the pet features. And in this LP, we're doing a dog. So look at all of these dogs. Oh my goodness. I wanna go more on the side view. Aww. <laughs> How cute. Oh, look at that one. And, like, you can change their colors so we can make that one more red. My favorite, guys, is a husky. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if I can make him like my dog, Houston. I can. You guys, this is my dog, Houston, right here. I kid you not. I mean, you, you just have to give him a, a, you know, more of a white line that comes up here, which I could probably do. And then I would have my Houston. Oh, he's an old guy now. And I think this is the one we just saw. This one looks like a Doverman. Um, Australia. Okay. Oh, oh, it's pooping. Oh, it just pooped. Oh my goodness. This is an Australian Shepherd. A Bassini. I might be saying some of these wrong. Yep, a Beagle. I have a friend who owns a Beagle. Oh, look, he's singing. Oh my gosh, and look at all of these options. There's so many. A mountain dog. Oh, it's a fuzzy. Black Russian Terrier. Bloodhound. Oh. Bocker. I'm kind of trying to go through these slightly quick because there's so many of them, but I want to I want to see all of them. Oh, Border Collie, Boston Terrier, Boxer. Oh, my uncle's bulldog ate my mom's chihuahua when I was about ten years old. Just gobbled gobbled the chihuahua right up. <laughs> but I know a lot of really nice bulldogs. I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about bulldogs. I'm just saying. That's, that's what happened. 
Oh, look at the blue eyes on that cutie. Aww. Chesapeake Bay Retriever. <gasps> it's a Chihuahua. I owned it. I owned a Chihuahua too. He just died not too long ago. He was 17 years old. He was an old boy. He's a fluffy Chow Lab mix. Aww, I almost looked like he was shy. He's looking away. <laughs> Dalmatians. Okay, now I find Dalmatians to be very pretty, but I have to admit I'm kind of scared of them because when I was about 15 years old, I was at a friend's birthday party and her neighbor had a Dalmatian that tried to eat me. Like, I kid you not, we were playing ball in the backyard and the ball rolled over next to the fence, so I ran over to grab it and the dog literally reached his head through the fence and grabbed a hold of my hip, like bit into my hip and wouldn't let go. So then like, it ended up being like a tug of war with uh, my friend and her friends trying to get me away from the dog. And so finally my friend grabbed like this piece of plywood and started beating the dog on the head so the dog would let me go. But, so I've been kind of afraid of Dalmatians ever since. I still have a scar on my hip from that, too. Anyways, Dingo! When I was little, my dad owned, my dad owned a Dingo Malamute. He had one blue eye and one brown eye. You can tell we're, we're dog families here. Oh, so pretty! Look at the attention to detail on all these dogs, you guys. I mean, it's amazing. English Foxhound, the English Setter. Oh, my daughter is going to be so excited over the fox. I'm skipping over some of these just because there's so many breeds. German Shepherd. Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Look at that pretty boy. Aww. So cute. Oh, they're so incredible, you guys. Aww. I'm just skipping over some of them. There's just so many of them. Oh, here's the Siberian Husky. So what was the one up there? I'll have to go back and look. There's the Siberian Husky, but only one color. But you can, you can change it though. How cute. I wanna go back up to the top though, because I could've sworn the one I saw up top was, oh, that's an Alaskan Malamute. Derp. They, they kind of resemble each other a little bit, but their tails are actually more curly than the Siberian Huskies are. So, that is very true. Oh, It's so cute. Okay, guys, this is the one that I'm going to go with right here. And then, let's see, we obviously want him to be a puppy. I have to look at these different features. Oh, And sit pretty. Just regular sit. And then stand. <laughs> okay, we got to give him a name. Um... Let's, let's do a random generator for a name. No, we're not doing pumpkin. Not Dakota. Dakota was the name of my chihuahua. That just makes me sad. Um, what do we want to name him? Let's name him Toki. Oh, no. Toki's not really a... Hmm. Oh, that's true. It's a female. Um, do we want a female or do we want a male? I say female. Yeah, we can stick with a female. Let's do Rhea. The family doesn't even have a last name yet. Um, what do we want their last name to be? We could make up one. Hmm. We're gonna name to have the last name be Alvarez. I like that. This is Rhea Alvarez. She's such a cutie. Okay. So now we can do traits right here. She's we've got active because you know obviously. Siberian Huskies are very active. Um, so what else do we want to make her? I know that we definitely want to make her smart because um, they're easier to train. And for my first my first pet, I would kind of like that. So we're definitely going to make her smart. And then after that, hmm, what do I want? Um, maybe friendly? Yeah. I like that. We're going to make her smart, friendly, and of course she's active. So there you go. There she is. Oh, she's so pretty. Now I do want to just mess with some of the other traits because you can coat color and do patterns. So you can change, you can make it all sorts of crazy different things. Now for this one, 
we're going to paint mode. And let's see. We can like change your color. Like, yeah, we're gonna make them red. Okay, so now we're gonna go back because I'm pretty much happy with that. But let's let's go in here into furs. So we can we can make him a really f make her. I keep saying he. It's because I've got a Siberian husky that's a male, so it's just I have to say he. Um, anyways, we can make her really fuzzy, or we can make her normal. I think we're just gonna stick with normal. And then for tails, we can change her tail. Do we want it down flat? Do we want to give it a little up, upward curl? Do we want it to be all the way up? <laughs> <laughs> or give it a tiny, a super tiny tail. It's called a stub. I I know it's called a stub. My daughter's giving me a weird look. I said super tiny tail when I should have said stub. It has a stub tail. That is very true. Okay. But anyways, how cute. Absolutely love it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Let's see, because I think I pretty much looked at all, all the features now here. Um, oh yeah, there's paint. I already looked into paint mode. Um, and I looked into furs. Here's coat colors. So we can change the coat color. Oh, cute. Oh, that looks like, that looks like a Houston right there. I really, oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. But maybe we should try to make him a little bit more reddish. I mean, this, this is going to be too red, I think. That'd be too red for a Houston. So, whoa, definitely not. I like that one. It looks so cute. She, 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 she looks so cute. So we'll do that one. And then we've got other patterns, obviously, black, white. So, yeah, okay, so then what we do is we, there we go. Now that's, that's Houston. So see, these are all the, I get it now. All these, col all these colors up here are the are all the colors that the, the animal has on them, okay? So, depending on how you want to change it like so my my Houston is a red and white husky so make everything red and white um, it does have gray on here I wonder if I change that as well there we go there he is oh and he's gonna be so adorable now I want to leave his nose and his eyes of course are blue so I want to leave his eyes blue but I wonder if I can change I'm gonna go in here and let's do ears now he's got he's got pointy ears, so I'm gonna leave those. Head shape. Yeah, these are huge ears, though. I have to agree with my daughter. They're like huge ears, but I don't know how to get them back to the way they were. You can shrink them down by click, clicking on them, and then you just pull it down. There we go. There you go. He's starting to look like half chihuahua, half a... <laughs> if you want to, you can undo completely and go back to how it used to look. Yeah, how about I just do undo? A few times. <laughs> there you go. Okay, there. So that's the way it was. Okay, anyways, you got this... You got this schnauzer. So there's that one if we wanted to make his nose bigger. Smaller. I kind of like that one. I think mean, that one's really cute. Okay, now then we got the eyes. And here's where we can change the color of the eyes. Whoa. That's the, those, that's more his eye color. And I'm just looking at some of the different eyes here. I'm not liking any of them. I think he was good with what he had. You could always shrink. Houston, my my Houston has a white patch right there, and I'm just gonna put that there. I want good. her to I want her to look like Houston, but I but don't be a female. Yeah, but be a female and have a different name. So and then of course my my Houston has a white line that kind of goes like that. You put this on the gallery, I'm totally gonna download it and make it into male and then change it to an adult so that way I don't have to make our dog my 
myself. <laughs> there you go. It does look like him, doesn't it? Only it does. It reminds me of when he's a puppy. Now that he's older, he's he's an he's, elder. Yeah, he's twelve years old now, and so of course, you know, he's it's amazing at peak mode. Yeah, but anyways, there there he is, or she. Oh, she. <laughs> and so we're gonna stand her up so you guys can see her all stood up with a little white spot in the back. Oh, she's so cute. My heart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the rest of the family, and I will be back once they're in their home, and I will give you guys a byplay of the starting of my the, the storyline, and then that's probably where I will end the part. Oh, it has to be the storyline while we're going. So, yes, I will be making up storylines <laughs> as I go. It's going to be a very interesting LP again guys you're you're definitely not gonna want to miss this series it's gonna be fun I'm really excited about it even my daughter's excited about it and normally she doesn't like to watch my YouTube videos not because she thinks I'm boring but because she watches so many YouTube videos that you know they get a little repetitive after yeah, a while it does sometimes it's the people make the exact same thing it's over just, and over and yeah, over again yeah tiring. and that's where the storylines become interesting and I've actually been getting into them a little bit myself because watching them because they're interesting they're fresh they're new the things that they do are all different um I'm gonna be yeah. making up some of the stuff myself but I'm also gonna be using random generators so part of me doesn't even know what's gonna happen to my characters so and I'm not and I'm not gonna make it a like really you know like everything that's gonna happen is gonna be bad or everything that's gonna happen is gonna be good I'm gonna kind of try to make it as much life based as I can so you know it could go either way who knows we'll have to see stay tuned I'm excited yes I actually so, might watch these videos I will be back guys as soon as I've created the family see ya and I'm gonna be helping her with it okay so I know I said I was gonna create the people and then I was gonna be done but I had to show you guys real quick the new outfits that come with the expansion pack so then we've got this shirt or I don't know if you call it like a hoodie or whatever, but look, it's got cats on it. That's cute. So they got them in different colors, blue, red, you name it, they've got it. Um, then, of course, there's this. This is kind of, you know, this is like, I guess, something a veterinarian would wear if she's like going to a meeting or something. Um, then we got this. Up. Oh, that's a pretty top. I like that top. It's kind of like got a scary fox on it. And then this shirt with a um, with a scarf. It's kind of pretty. And then got this one. And got again different colors that you can use. Then you've got this one. That's definitely long and, and kind of baggy-ish, which you know what in the winter? I kind of like long baggish type stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. Oh, look at this one! I could definitely wear her, see her wearing this like during the holidays and stuff. Oh, like you know when when she's at her clinic and it's um, and it's Christmas, you know, greeting all of her guests in a cute shirt like this for the holidays. That would be cute. And then you got this top. Oh, I really like that top. And of course, you got just the average, this one, and it's got the paw on the back. And again, different colors. I'm actually thinking about having her wear that top. And then, and that was kind of cool too. I like the pockets, but I think I'm going to stick with this one in the green color because I really like that. Oh, look at the cute that's pants. The pants for it too. Oh. Okay, I kind of like that. Although I want, I want to get rid of these. Okay, so some of these look quite similar to some of the others that I've seen. But look, oh my goodness, you guys, I love that. Look at that little braid. That is so cute. I absolutely love it. Okay, and then here's another new one. Oh, you know what? I do this hairstyle quite often. You'd be surprised. I love doing this hairstyle. Most of the time, though, when I'm being lazy, I'll do all of my hair, not just half of it. Okay, so then we got this one. Oh my goodness, look at the curls. <gasps> look at the curls. Oh my goodness. It's I so see, cute. I know a hairstyle that I think you might really like. Oh, here's the one with the bows. Oh my goodness. And bandana. It's boy hair. Ah! 
This is, my daughter says it's a boy's hair, but you know, I've seen girls do their hair like that. Yeah. And then there's, that one's similar to the other one. Oh, and it's got dog bones on it. That's cute. And so this one, similar, but it's got flowers. And Another boy haircut. Yeah. Some of these, I don't Another think so. Another boy haircut. one. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I love it. That's the one I thought you were gonna like. Oh my goodness. I love it. Isn't so it cool pretty. that it makes it seem like it's red but like it's actually purple? Yeah and the ones with different hair colors. More curls. Short curls. Oh there's my daughter's right there. Nah. My daughter if she could have <laughs> real ears she would. I would. <laughs> And then there's this one. Aww. Okay, I'm back again, you guys. We're, we've got the new trait here. It's the animal trait. And friend of the animals. This Sim wants to be friends with the animals. So we are going to have her. She's the one that's going to become the veterinarian. And so that's going to be her trait. And friend of animals. So now, well, not trait. That's going to be her aspiration. Whatever. Okay, and then so for this, we definitely want her to be. Gotta save two spots. Uh, hmm. Must be just want her to be a dog lover. Let's see. I definitely want her to be. She's gonna be a cat lover. What? But she owns a dog. She, they got a dog. Wow. They got a dog for the, their daughter. Oh right, I forgot about that. That was our ideal. <laughs> um. Let's Bye. see. Bye. <laughs> um, Too short. Okay, we need to give her some kind of trait that would make her feel good. I don't want her to be family oriented, and I think the next one is going to be. Gotta be something about taking care of animals. Gotta be something good to do um, that. We want her to be a perfectionist. No. Um. Probably ambitious. Or self assured. Outgoing. Um, let's make her ambitious. Uh -huh. So she's a cat person. She's family oriented because they, they are going to have a family. And she's ambitious. So I don't think they have like a workaholic thing. You know, they got materialistic. No, they but I didn't see anything that was like... We I mean, they've got just, active. We could say that her workaholic is her secret trait that you can't see. Because I have my sense of secret There's traits perfectionist, but she's not a perfectionist. So, okay, I think that's... Workaholic could be something, a secret trait. Let's give her her name. You can randomize it. <laughs> Amira. Okay, so then I'm back again. Here is... Here are the clothes for, for the men and the new pets. So... And they definitely got more shirts than the girls did. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of... Yeah, I kind of like... I kind of like them. I'm not a big fan of that one, though, I have to say. Turtleneck. Oh, look at it. It's got kitties on it. And puppies. And then, of course, there's the work shirts. Mm -hmm. Which he might eventually maybe become, like, an employee of his wife's, I think. I can see that happening. It's like um, a I got, serious I'm going to leave man. his hair dark like that. I'm going to get rid of the little goatee thing. Yes, please. I'm not much into that, but I'm going to leave his hair that style because I think it suits him. Mm. Ready? Boom. Man bun. Oh, oh like wow. Man buns. I actually kind of like that on him, you guys. But even better than the other one. Oh, we might be doing a man bun. Mm. I'm kind of... Mm. I like the style, but it's, it, it doesn't suit him. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are kind of like that, with different patterns. Oh, yeah, lightning yeah. pattern. Uh, a dog print! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're rocking it, buddy. Yeah, no. You're rocking it. I still like the men bun Whoa. more. I, I like this one. I like the man bun better, too. I think it suits him better, but I, I like that hairstyle. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm going with the man bun, you guys. Yes! <laughs> My daughter's gonna be happy. Can we choose good traits and a good, good hot okay. name for him? So, for him, athletic. I'm thinking athletic. When I see him, I think athletic. 
so traits. He's going to be active, active of course. <laughs> He's going to be romantic. Romantic. And yes. If there was a trait called retractive, like in Sims 3, we would totally do that one. <laughs> and then let's make him... A dog lover, completely opposite from each other's wife. We're going to make him family-oriented, too, I think, because kids... Aww. Okay, every guy I would want romantic, family oriented, and active. Dorian. Dorian Alvarez. I like it. Dorian Alvarez. Okay, guys, I'm back. We don't have much for the cats and dogs, but we do have this for the toddler. And so we're putting her in that. And we got some different ones. See? They're completely cute. We need to put her in a dog one. Look at that one. That one's adorable. That one's cute. Um, let's see if they've got... What else do they got? Oh, that's a kitty. Your mom would totally put her in a kitty one. That, yeah. Um, I don't think they have dog. Yeah, I'm thinking about... Putting her in the kitty one? Yeah, I don't see a dog. Oh, that's a bunny, though. That, yeah, that's the bunny. Oh, wait, um, go up one. Those are dogs. There's the dogs, yeah. So that one's the cat. That one's a dog. That's a dog. So I think we only had the Dalmatian dogs. And then we back to the bunnies. Yeah. Wait, those could be dogs, though. But with bigger ears. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Let's just use your imagination and say it's a dog. <laughs> Let's just use our imagination and say it's a dog. So, I just don't like that color shirt. Yeah. Ugh. The shirts don't look all that cute, so I'm probably gonna put, end up putting her. I like, I like. What was the it? First color. I like that one. Emery. Emery. I think the two traits that might fit her is charmer or angelic. We're definitely gonna do angelic. Okay, you guys, we're going to Brindable Bay. First time in there. I'm so excited. We are loading in. You guys gotta see this. Oh my goodness! Look how beautiful it is. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, they've got a Whiskerman's Wharf, a favorite hangout for the bay's feline citizens, who can often be found climbing around down at the decks. Whiskerman's Wharf is also enjoyed by fishermen and tourists alike. Oh, we got the lighthouse. Where your sims can actually woohoo Dead in. Grass Isle. Once inside a mysterious shipwreck, Dead Grass Isle is now home to the world-famous Brindleton Light and the city's largest population of indignant strays. Lately, however, there have been some rumors about strange visitors after sundown. Ghost animals. Um, Cavalier Cove, known for its hiking trails and sprawling coastal properties. Cavalier Cove is the perfect place to go exploring or chase seagulls with an adventurous pup. So Ooh. there's one thing that I want to tell you is there's a new boohoo option in the lighthouse. Okay. So this is really exciting. There's uh, only one house. Though. Sable Square, the culture center of the city. Sable Square is ideal for, for both cats and dogs. These people love their pets so much, they've built a monument to them right in the middle of town. And there's a clinic there, too. Yep, there's a clinic. Though there's only okay, one so house actually built I can't that afford you can afford. It. Which is this one right here. Yeah, but it's only one bedroom and one bathroom. Um, hmm. You know what? It's Mother 19. Time. It's 19,000 and she has 26,000. No, I want to do this right. You, you I don't, don't want to do automatic stuff so you can get a free house. I wonder if I could, should just build a house. Yeah, you would have to do a lot of mother load though. No, I can make it. Wow. I can make it on the cheap end. They might have to go without wallpaper for a little bit. <laughs>
Okay, guys. So here, here we are. So, you know, he decided that he wanted his wife to pursue her dreams, and in order to pursue her dreams, they needed to move to a new town. So they sold all of their belongings, took what money they had, and they took their new puppy, and they moved here. And he built this home with his bare hands just for her. Now they're completely broke. They only have $373. He's going to work hard to get a job, make some decent money and stuff so that they can have a, a proper living and, you know, eventually have a backyard for their kids to play with. But, you know, I think it's pretty decent. It's a pretty good sized home. It's got two bedrooms. It's got a bathroom. And, you know, it's got a big bedroom. There's room for expansion if they choose to have another baby. Um, but he's definitely going to have to work hard. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to end this part. It was probably kind of like a, a long part. But I just want to do some of the interactions first. So, like, I'm going to have her come over here and I want her to fill. And it's going to cost 40 simoleons. They don't really have any money. Um, but that's okay. And then Emery... She's just going to come over here and actually, wait, no, I want her to, I want to play, I want her to play with it. Hi, the cat. She's making a mess right now. Oh, that is so cool. And then, of course, the dog. I can't do anything with him. You can, you so, can the food bowl. You could have told him to come and eat. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get used to all the interactions. So, let's see it. If we can have, I can set a schedule time. That is really cool. So let's do, have it fill up every 12 hours. That should be enough for her. And then what is Dorian doing? Um, you know, we don't have a computer or, so I'm going to have to have him call on his phone to get a job. We're going to do that real quick and then we're going to have him. Um, Not veterinarian for you though. Let's see, we want him to find a job. And then once we find him a job, I'm going to go ahead and quit. Save and quit. Yeah, I'm going to save and quit. So let's see what kind of job he can get. And there's a cute little doggy. Um, okay, so then we definitely, I think we're going to have him do the athlete because we made him very athletic. So, and I think that, although he's really gorgeous, so he can make a, he can make a good entertainer too. But we're going to make him an athlete. No more. And so then. So you eat all that stuff up from the ground. It says he has to go to work today. Um, work out. You want him to work out? I guess that works. <laughs> okay, and then the two of them. Okay, so when I pick up in the next in the next part, you guys, I'm going to be um, I know off center rug driving my daughter insane. Anyways, I'm going to get into some of the other interactions, getting the interactions with the puppies and everything else like that too. And yeah. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. What is she doing? Where is she going? Where is she going? She's bored. Oh, she's she's doing an internet. Oh, what can she do? I might never get to know. She's not she's not a dog person. I'm still gonna have to get to know. All right, I could just keep going on with this like forever, but it's it is time to quit, and then we'll. Um, I'll pick back up in the next part. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Like I said, be staying tuned. This is going to be pretty awesome, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit that like button and that net notification uh, bell, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!